Today I tried out the flagship Bezier tool. It is quite handy to make uh, curves. But I want to show also some comparison with the grease pencil. So to start with the Flexi Bezier tool, you press Shift Spacebar. Then you see a Flexi Bezier. When you hold Control, you can snap to the grid. And when you click, you get lines like this. It's pretty handy. When you click and then drag, you can make lines like this. And when you are finished, you can press enter. And then you can make a new curve. Or if you want to work on the curve, you press shift spacebar again, select. And then you can work on the curve like that. Let's make a new one, Flexibus here. Then I press Ctrl to snap to the grid and there is another um, shortcut that is Shift. With, with Shift you can snap to the angle like that. Snap to the angle. So Ctrl is snap to the grid. Shift, snap to angle. With Alt, there's also a shortcut, can snap to the end point of, a, of another curve. So I do that, press Enter, Shift, Spacebar, select, and then you see that this is one uh, object. So now that's pretty much it. There are other settings um, here. Bezier utilities. But I understand this is a separate add-on. So to close blinds, you can press this. Or you can go to the, this tab. And then you go to the actor spline. Select that one. So now I'll show you the difference between uh, Grease Pencil and Curves, compared to Mesh. Go in Edit Mode, select all one, then you see a kind of uh, distribution of vertices, which is not uh, often desirable. Often you want to have it evenly distributed. With a Grease Pencil, you get something like this. Shift A. Grease pencil blank. Press top, draw, and let's make a curve here. So you go in edit mode, select all strokes, close, select all stroke, simplify, fixed. Let's choose for this one. Now, we go out of edit mode and here comes a little bit confusing part. So this is the grease pencil. We can hide this, we don't need it. Grease pencil, we can see it. And this is a curl, so that's grease pencil. To convert grease pencil to mesh, we need to convert it first to a curve. But we will choose for polygon curve. That way we don't have density of vertices. Polygon curve, yeah. So we can hide this now. You see that curl, that is the grease pencil. That is the curve. Yes, and then we are going to convert it to mesh. When we go in edit mode, we see here a nice um, distribution of vertices. Only this point, we need to merge it then. Yeah, let's give it a nice position. Alright, so sometimes you might work with the curves and some other cases with the grease pencil. 
right. Thanks for watching.